Hey guys, it's Daffo Swift back at it again with a new replay, a new deck list, deck type, all that. If you guys want to learn how to beat tier, pay attention to this video. I'm going to show you my tech pick for destroying tier going first. Let's go. Now, I'm playing what you call Runic Sprite Brigade, which is my custom variant on the Runic Sprite. I love the Char Brigades, can't leave them out of any deck that they could possibly fit in. But my tech pick can be played in any sprite deck. Any sprite deck. Stay tuned and watch. So we're going to start off with Tip, Special Summon, Hugin. I'm not in the business of getting ashed on Tip. That's why we didn't search for another runic card. And he's going to Imperm Hugin. We love when they Imperm Hugin. Seriously, we love it. If they Imperm Hugin, they can't Imperm Gigantic. It's really that simple. They can't Imperm any of my Tri Brigade names. It's really that simple. So use the Imperm on Hugin. We love it. Special summon Jet. Jet grab starter. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into Gigantic. And he should have known we're jumping into Gigantic, but hey, tier player. Now we're going to go ahead and use Gigantic Effect to bring out Blue. Blue, we're going to grab Carrot. And let's go ahead into Elf. Now remember, this is a combo that you'll see similar to a lot of combos in many sprite decks. I've practiced this one and tailored this one many, many times to figure out how my combos need to go. So enjoy them there. We're going to go ahead and make a Mask of Reina because we have so much gas. We're just going to go full tilt. Kid Effect, we're going to dump Karas. And we're going to use Elf to go ahead and get Kit back out of the grave. Make Ancient Warriors Oath. Start it again with a level 2 on the field and make Mask of Reina. Or Masquerade Cat, sorry, excuse me. Mannequin Cat. It would help if I knew the name of my own cards, but Mannequin Cat is the key to this stopping tier movement. It's strictly Mannequin Cat, and you're going to see why. Uh, now, we do have the Maxi as well. That always helps. Uh, but you'll see that Maxi really didn't hold any place in how we won this duel. Considering I think our opponent only special summons once or twice before they concede. Now it's tier. He got a lot going on from hand, so I'm gonna elf and then I'm gonna masquerade up because I wanna make unicorn and I wanna put one of those cards back right in his deck. They don't activate if they go back into the deck, am I right? So remember, we have one card. We had two cards in hand, hand ending this turn, uh, but we have one in hand now. So I believe we have to pitch the. Oh, we're gonna get another maxi, that's right. We're gonna pitch that maxi. Boom, put his level 4 back in deck because we do not want to see a Baguska play. Even though we could probably play through it, we just don't want it. And then here is the tick. Mannequin Cat bring up Testudo, no ramen. Now I want to take a second to explain how my combo exactly works with Mannequin Cat and Testudo. Now I want to focus on Mannequin Cat's second effect. If a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field while you control this monster, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls, special summon one monster with the same type or attribute from your hand or deck. Or graveyard as well, so if you open up a target, you can always pitch it to the graveyard and still bring it back with Mannequin Cat. Now let's talk about Mannequin Cat targets. The target that you're going to want to use to counter tier specifically is Testudo Erat. New men. Reason being, it's an aqua type, like all of the tier monsters. Dark aquas, well, this is a water aqua. It doesn't matter as long as it's aqua. If I target a tier monster, I can special summon this card. It reads, neither player can special summon monsters with 1800 or more attack. Now go ahead and look over the entire tier roster and tell me what they can do if you get this card out. Now I do use another tech pick for Mannequin Cat. He's light as well as Thunder. That's for the Sprite matchup as well as any light deck. I mean, Thunder King Ryo can really shut down a lot of decks. I'll go ahead and plug him in. But specifically for the tier matchup, you're gonna wanna go for Test Dudo. Now let's go ahead and continue this duel. He's gonna search for Rhino Heart. <laughs> Activate the field spell. This is when we're gonna go ahead and Carrot. We don't need Mannequin Cat any longer, so we'll pitch Mannequin. So we can go ahead and also pop the field spell. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and chain Kit. Let's go ahead and chain Nerval. And let's put a Kit in our hand. I mean, we're set up for next turn already. 
he's gonna go ahead and summon Rhino Heart, pitch a tier name to the graveyard, that tier name will not activate, and boom! GG's. We're gonna skip that second duel. That's a sword soul matchup where I kinda had all the outs for him. The way this deck is set up, man. I had Maxi, and uh, then I popped his back row, and he kinda surrendered, so we're not gonna go over that one. Now with this duel, I wanted to highlight going second to tier. Uh, pretty much <laughs> three matches, two of them are tier. So we're gonna go ahead and let him run his plays. Field spell, add Sheeran, activate Scream. Special summon Sheeran from hand, and he's gonna pitch a tier name. I mean, he's, he's gaming, he's gonna make his board, and we're just gonna go ahead and sit back and let him make his board. We do have Gamma in hand, but I know tier well enough now to know i don't know where to hit them when it's their turn so i'm gonna let him play his turn and i'm gonna use my gamma as more so a defensive play for my turn if that makes sense and you'll see exactly what i mean and this is something that you can use pretty much a lot of hand traps i mean uh save the ash for the maxi for your turn there's a great example of saving a hand trap to benefit you on your turn as opposed to using it to stop your opponent's play the way a lot of the best decks are set up is one hand trap really is not enough to stop them. I mean, there's exceptions and there's choke points, but general rule is one hand trap really isn't going to get the job done. I mean, of course, if you ask Branded Fusion, it stops them. You know, stuff like that is an exception, but man, Ash Edge him and see how far that gets you. Like, there's, there's levels to it. And I don't know where you Ash Tier Laments or if you can even hit them at a good spot when they have this much gas, so I'm just going to let him play. I also don't know if he's playing correctly. I don't know if he's running the optimal route. I don't know if he's potentially playing around hand traps because he sees the interaction on the hand. I'm not 100% sure, but I know he's playing. He has Kit Kalos, Kaleido Heart. I mean, he's comboing. I actually considered popping right there using the Gamma to just destroy that. But I knew it had a grave effect, and truthfully, I was like, you know what, just, just gonna go ahead and let him play, like I've said a few times already. Because my hand is kind of gassed out. We never really want to open Testudo. If we do, we kind of just want to pitch him. So I'm really playing with just four cards. But if you look at those four cards, I'm, I'm power playing. I mean, we have Tip, we have Jet, we have Gamma, and we have Nerval. So with this collection of cards I, I i'm pretty confident i can get him to use an effect while i have no monsters that way i can go ahead and get gamma onto the field and the way i'm gonna do it is genius if i say so myself but let's just see because this turn is wrapping up here he has baron elf kaleido heart he's sitting lovely our turn top deck fountain which awesome i'll take it could have been better, could have been way worse. So I'll take Fountain. We're gonna activate Tip, search for a Runic card, and I want to negate that Kaleido Heart. Cause I can't aim at the Baron. And now I can't aim at uh, the Herald he just put on the field, but it's okay. He's gonna activate Herald, chain Scream, and I'm gonna chain my Freezing Curses so I can aim directly at that Kaleido. And he's gonna chain Baron, exactly what I needed him to do. And that's when I chained Gamma. So now I've gotten rid of his Gamma Baron, got rid of his Kaleido. Boom. Plus I have two bodies on the field, and one of them's a level two, so that's a special summon of Jet coming in a few moments. That's the main reason why Gamma is so insane in this thing. So boom. I'm gonna go ahead and draw three directly off of my fountain. And he's gonna chain his trap to search. Sheeran, put a Sheeran in his hand. Just gonna play, that's cool. Draw three, and you see I got the Ash Blossom, so now I'm not even afraid to activate effects on field, because if he chains that Havnus like he just activated just there, let's go ahead and Ash that. And look at the gas, we have a normal summon, we can go right into Jet, into Elf, on field without normal summoning. So I wanted to, I could normal summon Testudo, but we wouldn't here. We would just eventually go for his board. We just clear out his board, Ancient War stuff. And he knows it. He knows it's over. Like, that's it. Just manhandling their board. No Maxi going second. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's the deck list. 
take a look at it pause here if you need to i can do a card by card in the future if there's any demand for it i can do a combo guide and a strategy guide for it uh, it's not just to, to counter tier it is essentially a really good deck uh, running runic gives you a lot of different types of outs so, sprite is so amazingly consistent and the resilience of tri brigade and the follow-up it provides is unparalleled so i really enjoy the deck we also have a Discord sitting a little bit above 300 people strong. We run tournaments every Sunday. We do do events on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We also generally have a cool community where we play different video games together. We uh, theory theory speech. We talk about different card combinations and have a good time. Think about joining. We also have a Facebook group, group called uh, Master Duel Legacy. Uh, you can join there and have some fun with us there as well. Uh, like follow, subscribe, the whole nine. Thanks for watching, guys.